Well done. That's it, keep going. Keep dribbling in and out. The game we're going to play today is called Knights, Castles and Dragons. We're going to get the children to use their imaginations. They're going to be knights on horseback, traveling about a kingdom, and they're going to be going in and out of the boxes, which are castles scoring points. As the game progresses, I'm going to start to build it up to be more football specific. Firstly, by introducing the dragons, who will be the defenders. And then as the children get more confident, I'll then ask them to play the game with a football, which they will have the choice of either carrying, bouncing, or dribbling with their feet. The next game we are going to play is called Knights, Castles and Dragons. So we have got four castles. We have got two yellow castles, which is that square there that Danny's standing in now. Okay, that is one castle there. We've got another yellow castle over there, which Danny's just running to. And we have also got two red castles. One here. Oh, we're testing Danny now. And one over there. Oh, quick Danny, quick Danny. Brilliant, okay. This is how you score points. I'm gonna go into this yellow castle first. Now, if I go into the castle, and then I come out the same way, that is worth one point. If I go into this castle, and then go out the side, that is worth two points. I can score three points if I go into a castle and go right away to the other side and out that way. Okay, so you can score one, two, or three points. Three, two, one, play, let's go. How many points can you get? Quick, quick, quick. Keep going, keep going, as many as you can. Brilliant. Well done, I love this. Brilliant. Fantastic. Five, four, three, two, and freeze on your horse. So this time, I want you to be really careful because if you touch any of the other knights on their horses, you both lose two points. Three, two, one, go, off we go. That's it. Don't touch the other knights. Brilliant. Fantastic. Love it. How many can you score? Don't touch anyone else, remember? Five, four, three, two, and freeze on your horse. I'm going to add an extra challenge now because sometimes when you go to a castle, around the outside of the castle is something called a moat. To get out of the castle and score the points, when you leave, you've got to jump out of the castle to score the points. Don't forget to jump over the moats when you escape the castle. Three, two, one, go! Off we go! Jump out of the castle! Brilliant! Excellent! Love that! Brilliant! Don't forget to jump out! Five seconds! Three! Two, one, and balance on your horse. Love that, brilliant. I think you are ready for another challenge. So this time, there are going to be some big, scary dragons who are going to be protecting the castles. We have got some dragons. They are going to be protecting the castles. So if you go into a castle, the dragon is going to be trying to tag you. So you've got to try and tag me. And I've got to try, oh, if I can get out, that'd be one point. If I can get in and out the side, that's two points. If I can get right the way across the other side of the castle, oh, oh Tug, you get a point and I don't get any points, okay? Three, two, one, off we go. That's it, whoa, well done, buddy, brilliant tagging. Well done. That's it, keep going, keep going. Can we get through there? Well done, excellent. Oh, nearly got him. Keep going. Well done. Oh, five, four, three, two, one, and sit down on your horse and have a seat on the floor. Now, as you were doing such a brilliant job being a dragon, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this castle a little bit bigger. Okay, so it's even harder for you, okay, because I think you can do that. All right, Albert. Can you come and be another dragon for me? Okay, so Albert's gonna be a dragon, this one here, 
has now got how many dragons in it? Two dragons, okay? But this one is gonna be worth double points. Knights, on your horses, ready to go. Three, two, one, off we go. Oh, nearly. That's it, brilliant, well done. Great defending over here, brilliant, brilliant dragon. That's it, keep going, come on, can we get, can we sneak through? Can you sneak through? Excellent, brilliant. And freeze where you are. Okay, if we have a seat on the floor, have a little rest. In this version of the game, this time, you are going to see if you can play the game by hopping. Three, two, one, off we go. That's it. Brilliant. Oh, are you okay? That's it, keep going, well done. Love that balancing. That is fantastic. Oh, Albert, I love it. Three, two, one, and hold it there. Now, your next challenge is this. As you are moving about the kingdom, going in the castles, you have got to try and protect a magic football. You can, as you're going about the kingdom, you can carry it if you want. So you might carry it like this, going in and out of the castles, avoiding the dragons. Okay, that's one option. Or you can, if you want, if you feel confident, you can bounce it with your hands as you're moving about, a little bit like a goalkeeper, okay, like this, going in and out of the castles. Or you can put it on the floor and you can dribble it like a footballer in the castles, keeping it nice and close to your feet like that. Our dragons are going to become defenders in the boxes now, so you're going to try and stop them getting into your castle and back out again by tagging them again. So you're not trying to get the ball, you're still just trying to tag them. Ready? Three. Two, one, go, off we go. Keep that ball safe. Oh, brilliant, keep it safe. That's it, can you dribble about? Can you move in and out, brilliant. Brilliant, oh, nearly got it. Well done. That's it, keep going. Keep dribbling in and out. Well done, Bonnie, brilliant. That's it, keep going before the dragon gets you. Oh, got you. Quick, next one, go and see if you can find another one. Five, four, three, Two, and hold it there. Can you sit down next to a partner, please? During this last game, you are going to work with your partner. What you've got to try and do is get your ball in and out of the castle without the dragons touching the ball. We might decide to be goalkeepers, okay? So we might be Jordan Pickford and Mary Earps, okay? And we are trying to throw it to each other like this. We get it in the castle, okay? But the dragon's gonna be trying to touch the ball. So if the dragon comes and tries and touches it, come on, try again. I might throw it to Albert, and we get it out of the castle, and then we might go to another castle. We might decide to put the ball on the floor. So we might dribble it into the castle, the defender might come towards me, and I might pass it to Albert, and we get it out and score some points. Defenders trying to touch the ball. Three, two, one, and play, off we go. That's it, can you get it in and out? Brilliant, well done. That's it. Can you get it in and out? Nice and safe. Good throw, Bonnie, I love that. Like Mary Earps, brilliant. That's it, well done. Oh, there we go. Last 10 seconds. Yeah. Five, four, three, Two, and hold it there. Just finished delivering the game, Knights, Castles and Dragons. Really pleased in terms of getting out lots of attacking and defending skills, um, lots of opportunities for the children to develop agility by getting past people in and out of the castles, trying to score points. It was also really pleasing to see the children feel confident to use a football and they were dribbling, some of them, some of them were bouncing it, some of them felt more comfortable carrying it, which was absolutely fine, because they were all at different stages of their journey. I did a progression that I wasn't planning on doing uh, when I added a little bit of teamwork at the end, because a lot of them were, were really capable of doing that, so they had to transfer the ball either with their hands or for the ones who were feeling really confident with their feet in and out of the castles, past the defenders, as a team. So it was fantastic for developing those social skills and teamwork skills.